everybody this is Julissa thank you so much for coming back to my channel thank you so much for subscribing and I'm here to do the final part of the origin like the video series that I've been doing called the origin of homosexuality and this is part three which is the final part and like I said before my other um, videos is that um, this is not like a video against the people who are homosexuals that's not a video to kind of like put them down you know that's why i call it the origin of it because out of everything that we do there is an origin there is a foundation for it and this is why i wanted to make the video right um i was just thinking about some points that you know that i i wanted to mention here it's things that i seen like i said before um of people who are homosexual who have that lifestyle um i think you know this is why i hate divorce divorce in a marriage with kids is really hard um and it you know you can say you know the kids are young they, they don't know what's happening this and that but when the kid grows up in a family where there isn't a dad or when there isn't a mom um that parent will find him or herself looking for that affection on their kids right and then you have a kid who is being told stuff about their dad let's say you know they're being told about stuff about their dad and you know your dad is so much this your dad is so much that and you know the kid had no no um boys in their marriage you know the kid was not even alive when they decided to get married and then the the child grows up thinking about all of that you know and let's say it's a young boy who loses his dad um you know like they they go through a divorce um he becomes very close to his mom you know he loves seeing her mom his mom you know dressing up you know makeup and stuff all of that starts something and i'm not saying all everybody who goes through it turns out to be homosexual but um you know god created um the marriage between a husband and a, and a wife for a reason and i think um a lot of the times the mom they need to be careful in the sense you know your kid doesn't have to be watching you put on makeup you're especially your your male child like I, it's just stuff that we do without thinking sometimes we think it's not making any effect everything derives from an, an influence you know and then you can you know if you kiss see that uh, she's so pretty when she put on makeup and he's like maybe i should just put makeup on and give it a try and then it starts somewhere like that's what i'm trying to get to it will start somewhere you know and i feel like the camera is shaking sorry um let's see if i can fix it okay so anyways i feel like divorce is a very a, a divorce in a marriage where kids are involved it affects in the long run it affects a lot um a lot of single parents try to get that emotion trying to fill that boy that a partner left in them with their kids you know and then you have kids um being involved in adult conversations too too premature for their age um you know deciding who they want to stay with um who they want to see over the weekend oh you want to go with your dad because you don't like me that's what it is it's just it's i'm telling you i living this life i i always say you know i hate divorce you know sometimes you have to divorce somebody because of physical abuse verbal abuse obviously um i just i feel like a lot of the parents you know they're like you remind me so much of your dad i can't stand you like you keep putting that into a child <laughs> it's it, like they're gonna find love someplace else um so you have to be careful what you say don't be so ignorant like your child was not there when you decided to pick your husband or your wife don't blame your kid just because they look like their parent but anyways another point that i was that i seen in um, people who have a homosexual homosexual lifestyle is uh, 
a lot of these men who are homosexual let's say they're between 20 in their 20s 30 and for even 40s they have that female friend they have the female friend that they hang out with they go everywhere to they go on vacation with that friend and they flirt with each other like it's so obvious they flirt with each other but they always say oh no because you know he's homosexual so um he's trying to fill the void with you you know he can act and play homosexual all he wants but he needs a female um person next to him all the time you know he's replacing that wife with having you there all the time you know calling you for ideas what do you think of this what should i do with this they always have that female friend you know that they like to hang out with so and that's one thing um that i noticed and um a lot of the like i said in my previous video a lot of, a lot of the men who are homosexual have this desire to have kids and um you know it's just that they're gonna you know one thing leads, leads to another mess because when you have a child growing up with two dads that that's just still going away from what the word of god says and that's still wrong and the thing is like i'm going all excited because i feel like the thing is that you know like i said it's not trying to hate on people you want to give a, a child a better family a better lifestyle you know and uh, financial wise you know you want to adopt kids and all of that but you're bringing them into a home with two dads that's not what the bible says you know they need that mom the mom figure in their lives the same thing with having you know two moms they need that male figure in their lives um a lot of the times what i've seen too a lot of the kids that come from um marriages of that ended in divorce is that they have the the spirit of rejection so they feel like you know why am i even trying to connect with anybody because they're gonna reject me anyways my dad left when I was young, so why am I even trying? So they grow up with that sense that, well, maybe my dad stayed home when I was growing up, so why would I even try to even have a relationship with people? And you see them in adult life, not getting anywhere, you know? Um, they feel, you know, it's almost like they screw up every relationship they have before nothing happens because they, they don't want to feel that rejection again. Cause it was so big on them you know why is that dad not home anymore why is he even married why they have other kids with that woman now what was was me the problem was i like the issue here you know and then if you have a mom that tells you all the time you're just like your dad and you obviously just didn't like the dad all of that gets inserted in in the kid's mind and it grows with on them you know if there's no deliverance there there's no counseling it grows on them um but like i said you know a lot of these men who are homosexual have that female friend that they, they're like their best bodies and you know and the same thing like and then you have that single female friend who's straight you know i'm not saying that she's homosexual but i'm saying like you have that female friend who knows you know that that man doesn't like women but she still you know they're both gaining something from it you know it's like ah he's gay but i go with him everywhere so i know we're good and then he's like oh she knows i'm gay so she knows we're not gonna get to anything so we're good they both trying to feel something in them something that they they miss so he's trying to feel without even knowing because obviously he wants a male male partner but he's trying to have that partner that your companion for life you know and then she doesn't have um she's actually blacking herself from any relationship because when you occupy your mind with this guy who you know is homosexual who you know doesn't it's not gonna go anywhere with you to that point of like relationship and marriage and all of that you're actually blocking yourself from any relationship because everywhere you go they see you two together and spiritually you know spiritually you're using him in your head because you know oh i'm about to paint my room 
let me call him and see what he thinks. So you, you give him that position in your life without even knowing. And by doing so, you're actually blocking, you know. And you might not even realize it, but you, you say, oh, I want to get married, but there isn't really a need because you have this friend of yours who is your best body fulfilling all of that. You know, you're constantly testing him. What are you doing? What did you then say? You want to go on vacation? You want to go this? You want to go eat? Anything, you know? So you're fulfilling that with him. And he, on the other hand, you know, he, like he, like, like I feel like a lot of times say no. Um, you know, it's so crazy. But a lot of the times when people do sinful stuff, they know it's wrong. So they want to keep this female friend around them all the time because there's an attraction there. Um, whether they want to admit to it or not, you know, a lot of the times people think that, you know, they came out as homosexual and they're like, imagine if I say I'm no longer that. People are going to like say, what are you thinking? What are you saying? Like, there's power in the name of Jesus. You can come out and say that you're no longer having those feelings. But for you to keep a female friend like that, you have to know, like, you're keeping her away also from a marriage that God has for her. Because you're trying to fulfill that position of the man in her life, um, that need that she has to call somebody all the time, to go out with that person, to go on vacation trips with that person. So it's like a whole mess. <laughs> I'm not trying to, like, be quick or anything, but I'm saying, like, Everything has an origin to it. Um, so just think about like trace back your life because you know a lot of the times we do things without even knowing that we do them. We a lot of the times we do them because oh my family always do it, so we do it too. And you're like, wait, we shouldn't be doing that. You know, until you wake up, you're like, Oh my goodness, thank you, Jesus, that you opened my eyes to this, you know. Anyways, guys. This story, this is my final part of that video. I'm going to be making more videos today. Um, it is Memorial Day 2020. <laughs> Things are opening back up. Hopefully, um, you know, we'll get back to the normal, the new normal, whatever that is. I hope everybody's safe. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.